I'm Greg and you're watching Near Extreme. Today we got a lot going on. We're going out practicing for a bass tournament this weekend and we also got a challenge to catch five species of fish in three hours on Lake Erie. Yeah, dude, this is the right kind. Hurry, hurry. It's a beautiful day and this one's gonna come right down to the wire. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's what's coming up on Erie Extreme. Missed him. <laughs> I'm Dave, and for the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living, and nothing else compares to the spot where I was blessed to be born and raised. So I've gathered up a few old friends, Oh yeah! <laughs> and we're having an absolute blast as we rediscover my old stomping grounds, doing things we've never done before, going places we've never gone before. Yeah, baby! Basically, just goofing off in this awesome place we call home. This is Eerie, Eerie Extreme. <laughs> One thing we don't have is cookies. <laughs> we don't have any food, no drinks. Hey Dave, this challenge comes from Jason from Waterford, Pennsylvania. His challenge is for you to catch five different fish species from Lake Erie. To catch, you have only three hours to do so should you choose to accept this challenge. That's it, good luck, see ya. Do you think we're gonna fail? Yeah. Meet Danny P. Jones, bring it on. <laughs> It's a really nice day. The lake is flat. Danny's on time. Wow, it's like perfect. But we have our work cut out for us. The five fish limit sounds doable, but the three hour time limit could be a killer. Okay, I brought two rods. We need to do it with the old shad shaped worm on the drop shot or the Rapala DT10. Good old Lake Erie, bud. My bra. How's it look? Good? Yeah. Do I look really nice? I feel contained. It's 7.30 right on the button. The clock starts now. So we got till 10.30, Dan. You find the big bass, I will win the challenge. So it doesn't matter if we fail, Dan. You know why? Because we fail all the other ones. Because we fail all the time. We're used to it. So don't get all crazy when we lose like you always do. Don't start breaking stuff. Just remember, even though we're trying to find gigantic smallmouth bass, <laughs> we need to treat a goby and a rock bass like it's a gold nugget, okay? I mean, I'm serious. I honestly think we should net them, just to make sure we're not. I'm not netting a goby or a rock bass. <laughs> or a sheep head. There's a big drop. Only two minutes in, and here we go already. What is it, bass? It's, uh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's the smallest sheephead I think I've ever caught. <laughs> All right, there it is, number one. We're only one minute in. Sheepskin. <laughs> Got one. Another one. It's a bass. <laughs> I think it's a bass. This is way too easy. Unless it's another little sheephead. I don't catch a little sheephead. It is a sheephead. Bummer. What's the deal with that? The sheephead in New York are smaller? We're not in New York. Dude, don't get them on the carpet, come on. Serious? I just cleaned this thing. What? It's a fishing boat. We have a challenge for somebody to stick a dorsal fin through their tongue. Oh, that sounds like a great challenge. But I think that guy didn't like us or something. Okay, it's time to dig into Danny Jones' locker. You want shad shapes? I just want a root through stuff. Right here, drop shot, there's shad shapes okay. in here. When he offers you something, that means he doesn't like them. Got one. Oh, guess what that is? Sheephead. I'm gonna get one more catch with this chest thing on and then I'm taking it off. Is it annoying? Well, it's tight, so I feel like my boobies are bunched up. <laughs> you know? Losing it up. I feel like I'm like a C and this is an A. <laughs> Got one. It's a bass. Is it? It's a bass, yeah. Good one? Uh, no. I don't think it's a bass. It is a bass. That's a good bass. If it's a bass. Oh. <laughs> Another sheep. Yeah, really? So you seriously don't want these things touching the carpet? I'd never put them in the boat. They stink. You stink. 
time limits stink. First hour gone, just like that. We only need three species, Dan, and one, and we're definitely gotta gotta catch a bass. What do you think? Yeah, we will. Just chill out. I think we'll catch a perch too. Fish on. Oh my god. That's not no bass. <laughs> Got me a bass. It's either a marlin or a sheephead. It's a giant sheephead. Sheephead are fun to catch, but this is getting ridiculous. Oh, it feels a little. Is that a bass? Uh, I don't know. A rock bass. Oh Dude! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the biggest one I've ever seen. I swear that's the biggest one I've ever seen. For a rock bass? That's a tank. Let's see that suck. Let's. I got one too. Uh oh, I got something. Some different. bass, isn't it? It might be, yeah. But it feels like a little sheep head again. Oh, it was a bass. It got off. Mm, man, we could have had three just like that. Bummer. All right, look at this look thing. Look at that. We need to measure that. That's a pound. Dude, that's monumental. <laughs> Dude, this might be like a record. We got to keep it in the live well because I don't know what the look, record is. It's a pound and a quarter. Massive, but we'll check on that later. Right now, we got fish to catch. The clock is ticking. Okay, there's a lot of fish here. That's a bass. Okay, this is gonna be number three. That's a definite bass bite. Yeah. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, <gasps> dude! He got off, he broke my line. That was a big one too, it wasn't little. Dang it. I felt that and I'm thinking, eh, crap. Do you wanna move out to the deeper spot? Yes. Okay, we're sitting on just two species and it's halftime already. And we got more than just this challenge to worry about. Not good. Uh-oh, Dave. Drop it like it's hot. Oh yeah. So this tournament that we entered is called the King of Bass. And frankly, we want to be called the Kings of Bass. Okay, we see one. We're playing video games. It's the day after tomorrow. I honestly hope it's a go. Drop. Bass? Yes. And we need to find some big fish. Nope, she did. The last one was a bass. I saw it. So at least we know we're going to catch one. A ton of fish right here. But first, we need to win this chow. We're still sitting at only two species. This should be over. What is going on? That's a bass, I think. <laughs> I loosened it. Yeah. What? Dude. <laughs> it's automatic. <laughs> really? That's four bass that I've lost. I haven't I caught I had a bass on yet. I hate losing fish. And I don't understand. That was weird. <laughs> That's a bass. This is him. Come to the boat. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a bonus. Dude, he's going in the live well. Number three. Jumbo. This is what they're eating. It's a little tiny goby. Tiny little goby. Hey, we caught a goby. That was a goby. <laughs> so if we do not get to five, we can count that one. So that's a 12 and three quarter inch jumbo going in the live well. Species number three. You know, with the regurgitated goby as an insurance policy, I feel pretty good, but deep down in my heart, I know we probably shouldn't count it. So we need two more species. Bass, if we don't catch one, that'd be really, really sad. Got one. What is it? Uh, rock bass. Nope, already got one of those. <laughs> Something happened and now I know. He touched me and me. It's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, it might be a big giant bass. Please be a walleye. That's what I'd rather, because I know we're going to catch a bass. What is it? I get the sheep head. Yeah, it's a stupid sheep head. <laughs> this is my 200 sheep head. <laughs> Dumb. This is not good. Seriously? Not good. Please support our Erie Extreme partners Marquette Savings Bank. We create website design and marketing. The Avonia Tavern, Fishing Online, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, Driscoll Tax and Accounting, R.W. Petruso Hearing and Audiology, and Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. This episode is sponsored in part by Someday I'll Tackle. What's under your bobber? This is Danny's best spot on Lake Erie. We've been here for an hour and haven't caught a bass. I got a question. Is it just smallmouth one day and largemouth the other day, or do you have to go out in the lake? One day is largemouth only. The next is smallmouth or largemouth. We could catch largemouth two days in a row. 
What if we get on a big school? We could win it with all largemouth? Dude, that would be doing something. What if we announced that, like on Facebook, that we're gonna win this thing with largemouth? Everybody would laugh until the dust settled and we emerged with giant trophies. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a rock star. <laughs> I don't know if there's any trophies. Those are gobies. How can we catch one of those? Got one. Mm, it's a sheep. Still stuck at three species. I'm not looking at the clock. But I, I have never seen so many sheephead. Where are the bass? And he's blind in one eye, which is probably why he didn't fight very hard. All he can see is from that eye. So that means he can't see how many fingers. <laughs> how many fingers do I have up, bud? Look back in his mouth. See the crushers? Those are like extra sets of teeth. So like when they get a big crayfish or something, they get it back in there and crush it. See a bud. Rock bass. Another rock bass. Don't count. So Nate and I are setting up a new camera that we just got, and Danny leans into one. Could it be? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a baby. GoPro start recording. Bass. But it counts. Number four. Are we leaving? Yeah. Smart move for the tournament, bad move for the challenge. But it's unanimous. We'd rather win the tournament than the challenge. <laughs> we got our bass finally, so we're moving to try for a walleye. We got four species. Four species. Got one. Sheephead. And they fight. Just gotta make sure it ain't a walleye or something. Sheephead. 700 sheephead. I'm almost to a thousand. We're not gonna catch a walleye. This is dumb. We're gonna fail the challenge and not find any bass for the tournament. So sad. I mean, to go from one fish to four just like that in the last hour. Bass. Only to fail? No way. It's only our second bass of the day. We need to go to a good spot. Got one. Come on, be, be a walleye. We need a miracle. Unbelievable. Let's try to catch a walleye. How can we do it? I mean, we, we're not getting goby bites. Where are the gobies at? Are they deeper or shallower? I don't know. I can't believe we're gonna fail this challenge and we caught a perch. That's insane to me. Let's steel shad one up. Are they in here? Yeah, they're up. Open that up. We're gonna steel shad our fifth fish up. Everything bites a steel shad. It's gonna be irritating if we don't win. Which I didn't think we'd catch a perch, so we should have three right now. Always gotta be dramatic. You know it? Four fish, need five. Clock winding down. Stupid. Because we got 15 minutes. Let's catch a walleye. Where do you Come want on. to go? This is Captain Dan at his It's going to take us five minutes to get back towards the launch, so we might as well just go in and start. Shallow and start cranking. Walleyes are everywhere. There's no skill to catching them. Great idea, Dan. Insult the walleyes. So with about 10 minutes left, we're making a five minute run back toward the ramp. Probably not the smartest thing we ever did. Dude, this will be such a freaking miracle. I just don't like how we always fail these challenges at the last minute. Like it's actually like, like we're like meant to be like failures. Like need us one rock lizard. Pay attention here. This last 90 seconds of the challenge is unedited and frankly, unbelievable. I just kind of timed that cast. It takes dang near 40 seconds. According to my calculations, if we're lucky, we might get two more casts in this challenge. If we would have caught four species and started throwing crankbaits, right? <laughs> why didn't we do that? Yeah, Dan, why didn't we do that? Because we're practicing for a tournament. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it's over. Time check. Probably two minutes. Got one. Got one. It's a walleye. Hurry. <laughs> Hurry, dude. Get the, get the clock out. It's a walleye. I see it. It's a walleye. <laughs> You ready? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ready. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get him. Yes! <laughs> time check. Get the time out. I know Look at he came it. off. I, think, I know we beat it. We still have two minutes or what? How much time? 28. You're kidding me! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's what you call getting it done, bud. Are you kidding me? Sometimes you just gotta trust your guide. Oh my gosh. I'll never doubt you again, Dan Jones. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I want to say who's your daddy, but some people might pick him. Man, that was just unbelievable. Sometimes these challenges just blow my mind. Look, there's our species, so I'm going to show you. There's the perch, the rock bass. 
I mean, conceivably could be a state record because we have no idea. That's a huge rock bass. So there's three, and then the other ones are a sheephead and a bass. Okay, so we beat the challenge. Um, so that's over in the nick of time. Now we're, gonna, we're, we're close to a spot. We're gonna check it real quick. This is one of the best spots that I know of. So we're gonna check it for the tournament real quick. And then we gotta get Nate back to Kirk's East End Angler so he can clean some walleyes. So basically, now we have about an hour left to find some big bass. That's a bass. This is gonna be a big, this is a tournament. Dan, look at, look at, he's gonna jump. And I'm hoping this will be the spot. Uh, what's he got on him? Oh, that's just his tail. He's, nah. he's, he's messed up a that's little bit. That's gross. Look, he's really got problems. Look at that. <laughs> so he's got some kind of a disease you can see on his tail. Poor baby. Pretty good one. And I just let him go and boom. Oh, good. I got a big bass. Another one. Because it ain't no sheephead. Dude, this is big. But these are the right kind. <laughs> we might have found them. Oh, yeah. That's a deep oh. good one there. That's what we need. All we gotta, how, what's the limit on in the tournament? So all we need is four like this, and we're gonna be good. Yeah. And the hook fell out. That's a, that's a good one. They're always bigger than what you think. That's the right kind. Thick tail. See you, bud. See you on Saturday. It's a walleye. No. We love walleyes. Let me rephrase that. We love walleyes. Walleye. <laughs> Got him. Voila. <laughs> nice, Dan. You just redeemed yourself. It's a golden nugget. That's a bass. Good one. That's a, oh, yeah. Okay, so we definitely don't want to catch anyone. This is a big one. That's a four, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's over. It's well over four. Yeah. That's a big one. They're both about the same size. Big honker. That's good. Four of them, we win. Okay, I don't, I, don't, I don't really need to see any more anyway. You know, we don't want to beat them up. Yeah, the other end is better than this. Let's boogie. What other end? The other end of it. That so might the one I caught was on that end and the one you caught was on this end. Yeah. That means they're all over this. That was quite the successful day. I mean, this could have been the perfect day of all time if that's the winning spot and <laughs> we beat the challenge. Stay tuned. Well, that was an awesome day. We got out there, we just barely beat the challenge, and we found a pretty good uh, spot to catch some big bass, hopefully in the tournament. <laughs> Great day. Now it's time to clean these fish, get some rest, and get ready for the King of Bass Derby. There's a lot more to come after the break, so don't go away. First time ever. Honestly, I'm almost disgusted right now. <laughs> I want to puke. This is going to be a little bit gross, but check this out. We're going to dig around in here. Stomach is right there. What do you think it is, Dan? It's a crawl, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Nasty. Dude, he just ate that. That's not very old. Nice. I'll tell you what, this sheephead meat looks pretty good, actually. Here, make him a plate. Nate's just getting home from helping Kirk. You need some hot sauce? Let's see if he notices. Are you hungry or not? Yes. With a camera in his face. Danny has a question. Ask him how it was. How, how was it? Is it good? Mm hmm. Guess what that is? You won't even believe it. Sheephead. <laughs> I was wondering why it was tough. <laughs> no, you don't have to eat it. Look, here's the good stuff. But do you no, like it? It's not terrible. I'm <laughs> hungry. So, we, <laughs> so everybody always says sheephead is nasty and gross, and we always said it too, but we never tried it. Have you tried it yet? Say something, Dan. I have. He won't try it because it's not organic. He's a... <laughs> he won't. I ate a piece of it. I think it's good. It's 514. We're delirious. We're going bass fishing on Presque Isle Bay. We're practicing for the king of bass. You don't want to miss this one. Watch out for the birds. Here's Danny. He's growing into a very responsible young man. He's actually here on time. So it's the day before the first day of the King of Bass tournament. We found our big smallmouth yesterday. Now we gotta find some big largemouth in the bay. We right. need to gorilla stomp their necks off. Eh, might sound harsh, but the title of Bass Kings is at stake. Which reminds me. Hey, if we win, who's the King of Bass, me or you? Well, here we are, Captain Dan Jones. I get a million guide requests throughout the year. This is where I send everybody. Well, here we are. Captain yeah. Oh. Come on, I'm trying to. <gasps> a million guide 
Dude, that's a tournament fish. Isn't it? Hold on, we gotta shut this down. We just get started. I'm messing around on Facebook and Danny catches one right by the boat ramp. All right, I wanna fish now. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, Dan, you wanna keep them and eat them? I don't know, Nate liked them. Oh no, not a sheephead in the bay too? Sheephead. They're everywhere. I thought they all swam out into the lake. Huh? The whole freaking boat smells like sheephead. Since when? Since you were in it the other day. It's a fishing <laughs> boat. A fishing boat. You smell like sheephead. And were you talking this point? There are loads of sheep that are right here. I've never caught nothing but bass here. Oh, there's three of them with it. This is a really good sign for tomorrow. This spot is loaded, but we need to find more. Oh. Did you get a bite? Yeah. Is it a bass? Yeah. <gasps> it is a bass. Catches it's a decent one. one. So day one is largemouth only. That's tomorrow. Day two is smallmouth. We need to find as many spots as possible. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a nice one, Dan. There are no guarantees in fishing. We need a plan A, plan B. How about that for a bass? That's a good solid nine or 10 pounder. A plan C, the more backup plans, the better. There's one. A plan D. Oh, that's a good <laughs> one. So that is a pig for here. I'm telling you. Dang, that's good. That's big fish of the tournament right there. Big one. Ouch. That's one you never want to catch the day before a tournament. Oops. Anyway, I think we're ready for the derby tomorrow. Time to let Nate catch one before we quit for the day. Do it, Nate. Well, that's it. We gonna win? Yeah. I'd have to agree. Checked a couple of the best places. They're loaded. Saw some big ones following, some other big ones in when we hooked them. So it's definitely gonna be fun. That's all she wrote. It's 4.30 in the morning. Well, this is the day. Ann and Isabella are taking me to the boat ramp to meet Danny, and I'm excited. I haven't fished a tournament around here in a long time. You know, I believe every day on the water is a good one, but the weather today is downright nasty. The King of Bass is a two-day event. I'd say we're off to a pretty good start. So we're only allowed to weigh in four large mouth, and these are our biggest ones of the day. And we're pretty happy with that. Let's go fishing. You excited? We're leading after day one with over 14 pounds and four fish. That's pretty good for the bay. What's the inspirational set? I don't know. I can't see anything right now. You look good. You look shiny. Come on. Get your head in the game. I'm in the game. Day two, smallmouth day, is a lot nicer in the weather department. But we got a long boat ride on the big lake. Because of our big bag of fish from the bay yesterday, we probably only need about 14 or 15 pounds today, but we're shooting for 18. And kicking it off with a five pounder right off the bat helps the cause. Danny's throwing the first fish in the live well, and then I hook one on his reel, which is backwards. I can't reel it. Yes. Another five pounder and another awesome day on the water. Lunker for today was Danny Jones and Dave Lefebvre with a 508. My favorite day. And our collective winner with a total weight of 3176 is the Lefebvre and Jones team. We did it, Dan. And then what's that? Lunker money. Letting our fish go here right by the lake. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Good job, bud. Got her done. Heck yeah, kings of bass, and we beat the challenge. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Thanks to Ben from Field and Stream for letting us fish his tournament. Thanks to Danny, of course, and our challenger, Jason. You gave us a good one, but we still have some unfinished business. Okay, we're calling Kirk. Find out if we might have a state record rock bass. Yes, sir. Hey, Kirk, we have a question. 
Okay. What's the state record rock bass? All right, look at this look thing. 1.3, show him. Three pounds, two ounces. Are you kidding me? Uh-uh. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay, well, that solves that. <laughs> oh, well. Can't win them all. See you next week.